Welcome back to Athletes, Larry Sorensen here, and today is part one of how to dominate your friends and coworkers. So the first thing you need to know when it comes to playing table tennis and playing it at a competitive level is what kind of equipment, first of all, you're using and what your opponents are using. And it's important to know how the ball is going to react off of different types of equipment. So today I've got a couple I want to show you. The first is what we call a hard bat with pipples out. So you can see this very thin. It has no sponge. It's got the pimples on both sides hitting out. Very flat, very hard. Uh, they actually have tournaments with just hard bat uh, play. So it's, you, you don't generate tons of spin. It's a kind of a flat, hard hitting type of paddle. So that's called a hard bat. Don't see that too often anymore. The next one is more of today's standard type of paddle, which is what's called an inverted or smooth rubber on both sides. And you can't see my uh, cushion in there much, but my sponge is that little spot right in there. So this has a uh, 1.9 millimeter sponge on both sides as well. So this is more of a common type of paddle with uh, and rubber that you're gonna see. The ball will come off of here in a consistent fashion on both sides of my paddle. And I'll talk a little bit about how that works in a second. The last one here is, is what's called long pips. So this has the pips with a cushion under it. And this takes the ball and does something completely different than what the smooth side will do. And you can see in this case, this, this particular paddle has smooth on one side and then long pips on the other. So what does all this mean and why is it important? Hard bet I'm not gonna to worry too much about right now. Let's talk a little bit about a regular smooth inverted rubber. When a ball with topspin comes and hits this rubber, it's going to take that topspin and reverse it and put it back at you as topspin. So the more topspin I hit to you, if you hit it back at me with inverted rubber, it's coming back with the same or more topspin back to me. So it's very consistent. If I push or chop with backspin, and you do the same thing, it's coming back to me with the same underspin that I imparted on the ball. If you're playing someone with inverted on both sides, you know that the ball is gonna come back with the spin that you impart on it. The big one to know here is the long pips. So the difference is if I hit a ball with top spin and a person with long pips plays it, the ball is going to be reversed and come back at me with underspin. So the harder that I topspin the ball, the more underspin is coming back to me. If I push the ball with my inverted and put heavy under or chop with heavy under and that player hits it with the long pips, it's coming back with topspin on it. So this is where it can get confusing, especially when a player has inverted and pips on one side. So during the match, you have to understand is the player's backhand or forehand the long pips. And you also have to watch out because skilled players will twiddle the paddle. So they might hit their backhand with regular one play and then in the middle of the play flip their, their hand and then hit it the next one. So you have to be able to recognize quickly which side of the paddle is being hit so that you understand what spin is coming to. All right, Autumn Athletes, so here's a uh, quick example of what pips will do compared to inverted rubber. So my uh, pen holder extraordinaire with the pips on his backhand, Alex over there, wave hi Alex. We're just gonna hit a few balls back and forth using topspin inverted to inverted. So you can see, it's just topspin, topspin, that's all it does. Now, if he switches to his backhand, So top spin, now you see it's, it flips. You get an idea of what happens when he goes to those pips and completely changes things. So what happens is it throws an inverted player off his mark because he's expecting this heavy ball to come back and all of a sudden it's dead with reverse spin. So it's vitally important to know smooth versus pips, especially long pips. Make sure you check that out when you're going to play your opponents. 
that's it for today. See ya. The other type of racket uh, rubber is called a anti, which is a smooth like this, very smooth and dead. And that kind of just kills the ball. So um, sometimes when just regular inverteds get really old, they kind of act like ante. They don't impart as much spin and it kind of gives you a dead ball back. So you have to be aware of that too. So tip number one, understand what your racket is doing and the rubber that you have. More importantly, understand and know what your opponent's racket has and what type of rubber they're using so you know how to react to what they're doing to you and you can set them up with a spin you want in order to know what you're getting back and that's something we'll talk more about in some later tips on how to dominate your friends and co-workers i hope you enjoyed this initial tip know the rubber that's on the paddles both yours and your opponent and you will take your first step towards dominating the table Thanks everybody, we'll see you next time.